Does anyone know what feedback tuning is? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. For live sound reinforcement, acoustical feedback is to be avoided at all cost. So before the show, the mix engineer will spend as much time as necessary to feedback tune or ring out the room. Here's how. A mic is turned up until the sound takes off, in other words, starts to feed back. The mix engineer uses a device called a real-time analyzer, or RTA, to determine the frequency of the feedback. Then, that frequency is attenuated using the equalizer until the feedback stops. The mic is turned up again until feedback. The feedback could occur at the same frequency or a different one. In any case, the RTA is again used to determine the frequency, and the equalizer is notched down at that frequency until the feedback stops. This process is repeated until the sound system reaches its target sound pressure level. Ideally, if there are different types of mics to be used, each different mic would be feedback tuned as well. In most cases, the mics would be grouped by type and routed to a submaster that would have a separate EQ to address the frequency issues of those specific mics. The EQ pattern that results from feedback tuning is usually the inverse of the sum of the natural resonances of the room and the nonlinearity of the sound system. In any case, once the room has been tuned this way, the chances of feedback are greatly reduced. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.